Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a sonic wall firewall uh, to protect your network users from spyware. From within the admin console of the sonic wall, we want to go to security services and to anti-spyware. Within this section, we can see it's going to give us some uh, status information as far as letting, know, letting us know that the uh, appliance is updated with the latest um, signatures for spyware detection. And for the settings, we want to go ahead and enable the anti-spyware. And then for the sonic wall, they categorize spyware applications into three different levels, high, medium, and low. And what we can do with the sonic wall is we can tell it which ones we want to prevent from entering or leaving the network. So let's go ahead and prevent for a, for a basic uh, general rule of thumb. We want to prevent high and medium, but not worry about the low right now. Then under detect, we want to go ahead and have it detect all three levels. This way we can get all the information into the firewall log that then later on uh, through analysis we can determine whether we want to go ahead and you know, uh, block uh, the low level uh, spyware attacks. Just all depends on, on the level of security that you need for your network. One of the nice features in the sonic wall is that uh, not only does it uh, provide the spyware protection, but we, we can also tell it what protocols or services we want to apply that to. So in this case, once again, a very good rule of thumb is go ahead and apply it to uh, any HTTP traffic for web browsing, FTP for files that uh, are transferred, IMAP which is a form of uh, email, SMTP, this prevents any spyware from coming into your network getting to your exchange server or email server, and then finally POP3 which protects your end users who are using their email client uh, to download emails from both your local uh, mail server or they may be pulling from an email server that is outside the network. Uh, this will still provide that spyware protection for them. We can also select uh, enable inspection for any outbound. Uh, this is a very good uh, feature in case you have a user who's already infected uh, with a spyware and the information is broadcasting data outside your network. Uh, or you may have a user who is, you know, sending uh, copies of a, a spyware application outside the network. Now once we have all the settings done we want to go ahead and click apply and we have one more step within the sonic wall we have to tell it okay where do we want to apply these security services and in this case for this firewall model it has both LAN users for our local network as well as wireless users so to enable the service we want to go ahead and configure the LAN and select enable anti-spyware service click OK so now our local network users are protected and finally we want to go ahead and protect our wireless users whether it's both employees or if you have uh, guests who are at the the office connecting to the network. We want to protect them from spyware as well. We select OK. And that's all there is to do with a sonic wall firewall to protect uh, the uh, users behind the firewall from spyware. Uh, if you have any comments or have a suggestion of a, a video you'd like to see, go ahead and throw it down in the comments below. Okay, have a great day.